Have you ever wanted to control multiple plugin parameters with just one fader? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that using a script that I wrote called CC Writer. Here's the interface for the script, and you can see that it accepts one parameter for input and it outputs to a bunch of different parameters. And then in here, you'll see a response curve that you can set up. So it will always follow that with your fader movement. Um, that was just a demo, but I'm going to show you how to install this. So let's close all these windows and pretend like I didn't have this installed. To do that, you go to the home page for the script, which I have put in the comments, and you come here to this button. It says copy raw file. You click that, and now all the source code is on the clipboard. And then you go back to logic, and in this section here with the media effects inserts, you choose scripter, and that opens two windows. If the editor isn't open, you can always open it by hitting this button here. Here's the source code for the current script, but we don't want it, so we'll delete that, and we'll paste in the CC Writer source code. Hit, hit Run Script, and then close this window. And now you'll see the UI for CC Writer. Uh, like I sh showed you before, there's inputs and there are outputs here. But the thing that I want you to notice is that when you move one slider, two parameters move at the same time. Um, these in here control the curve of that parameter. So let me move the slider to the middle here. And when I move this button, you'll see that it moves that up and down. So you can see it interactively. And this also happens so you can hear it. And it's really useful for tuning these parameters. Uh, the way that I would usually use these, my pattern is for the expression to come up quickly and then modulation to fall behind. But I also don't really like it when they're down at zero at the very bottom. I want to hear something when I hit a key. So I'll set this to the bottom here. I'll push down a key and I'll move this until I hear what sounds to me like the minimum amount of sound that I would expect. So now I'm going to show you how to add uh, the EQ. And I got this idea from a video that Paul Thompson put up for Spitfire, where he uh, has a video how to add sizzle to the brass sounds. And he did this by putting a match EQ uh, plugin at the end. And I've loaded in the EQ template that he put in his video. I'll put a link to that as well in the comments. And you can hear the effect of that. But we want to sort of make it part of our slider patch over here. I don't really want it to sizzle when the sliders are in the lower ranges here. So we want to set this up so it comes in just at the very end. To get CC Writer to talk to this, there are a couple ways that we can do it. There's kind of an unsafe way and a safe way. And I'm going to show you the safe way first. To add another parameter, we have to actually edit the script. But it's not too bad. If you come to the top of the script, you'll see there's a variable here called outputs. And each one of these entries uh, has two parameters. One of them is the key. The key is what we tack on to the end of the name for the parameter in for Scripter here. And we need to do that because that's how Scripter saves the data for each parameter. Each name has to be unique. So you can make this whatever you want. Uh, but uh, I usually choose letters just for brevity. Uh, the default CC number is uh, by default what it will choose for that CC value for that parameter. I most commonly use 11 and 1, so those are my defaults here. But we're going to add a parameter for sizzle. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it in here, and I'm going to call this sizzle. There's no default CC that I can think of for this, so I'll just leave that off. And take out the rest of this comments here. We'll run this. And you'll see now we have something for sizzle down here. I'm going to close this. And now we have a parameter for sizzle. It's not talking to the plugin over here yet. And so, like I said, I'm going to show you the safe way to do this. The safe way is to choose an output CC that you're not always already using. I'm going to use 22. 
and then you come over here and you choose a plugin called modifier and what modifier does is it takes some input and just reassigns it to some output and it might you can add to it or you can scale it i don't want to do either of those things so i'm going to option click these parameters which resets them to their defaults of 100 percent and don't add anything i'm also going to turn off through because i don't want the data to come through and i'm going to choose cc22 which is what the output on cc writer was down here so now these are connected and then this has a menu option here learn plugin parameter i'm going to choose that and actually go over here and modify the plugin and it will pick it up so at this point, CC Writer outputs 22 for, param for the third parameter. This picks it up, reroutes it to match EQ, and when I move the slider, everything will move. So now it's connected. And I'm going to close that down. And you can, like I said, they're all connected. But I really, I don't want this to come in until the very end. Uh, you'll see we kind of have three points here. It brings it up to this mid-level that I like, and then this is kind of the end of the patch but we need a few more points well we need probably just one more so i'll add one more point here uh, and that's what this curve resolution parameter is for one thing i want you to notice is that as you increase the curve resolution it really just shows you more detail of the curve but it preserves it for you as you up and down the curve resolution even if you go below the original and then come back so i want it at four so we have just enough to bring this in at the very very end so I'm going to kind of set these to what they were, the first three here. So for these for these first three points, that's kind of what I had before. Then they're going to hold steady, and we're going to bring in the match EQ at the very end. Uh, match EQ by default goes down to minus 100 and up to positive 200, which is not quite what I want. I want this to just be 100%. So I'm going to leave the fader here and move this top one down until I see it getting to about 100%. And then I'm going to move the fader down and move the bottom one here until it gets up to zero. Or, well, I might be able to fine tune it just a little bit. And then I'll copy these in here. So now you can see the curve for the EQ. It's pretty much at 0% until the very end when it comes up. Here's what it looks like and sounds like. One thing I notice is it ends up being pretty loud at the end because of this EQ comes in. So I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit. And now we have this. One other thing I want you to notice is that you can also option click these to set them back to their defaults. And the default is just a straight line, just a linear response. So let's talk about the unsafe way. You might have noticed it's kind of a pain to use this modifier insert. So there is a way you can configure this script so that you can connect directly to plugin parameters just like the modifier did. But it's kind of unsafe and I'll talk about that in just a sec. To turn it on, you go here to the script and you scroll down a little bit until you see this parameter and you set this to true and you can use target parameters which is a, a special output parameter for the, for the scripter module. Now in these outputs, you, we have a learn plugin parameter, and we also have all the modulation that we had before. I'm gonna go over here and turn off the modifier because we don't need it anymore. The reason why this is unsafe is because I can learn the plugin parameters here. So now I'm not using CC data at all. I'm just connecting directly to the plugin parameters themselves. And we should get what looks like the same thing. That's great. The problem is that for any plugin that's not built into Logic, uh, Logic seems to have a bug in the scripter module where when you reset the audio, anything that's con directly connected to a non-built-in plugin will get turned off. It will get disconnected. And I noticed that when I would load my project, suddenly all the parameters would be disconnected or I might change my system audio output to headphones instead of my monitors, and that resets core audio, and then these would disappear again. So for any plugin that's not built in, I would recommend connecting to the modifier because the modifier module doesn't seem to have that bug. 
So I'm gonna use CC output here as I did before, but I'll just connect directly to the Match EQ plugin. I have one more thing to show, just a tip here, which is as you test these out, I've noticed that it's best if I close my eyes and move the slider and just listen with my ears to see if it's responding the way that I want. The plugin parameters sometimes fool me. I guess I'm getting extra input from my eyes that kind of tricks me into think it's, thinking it's doing something it's not. Uh, the second tip is if you get tired of copying all the source code into the scripter module here, you can just save it as a preset. As, and you can see I've done this down here. And then you can always just bring it up whenever you need it. That's pretty much all I had to show. I hope you find this useful in your own template. Thanks for watching.